สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. So this is part two of my All About Wok series. So in the last episode, I talked about what kind of wok you should get, and now that we can agree that the carbon steel wok is the way to go, we're going to talk about how to take care of it so that it remains nonstick for pretty much the rest of your life. So when you first get a wok, the first thing you need to do is season it. Now, seasoning refers to a process of heating oil in the pan so that it polymerizes and creates sort of a slick surface so that one, food doesn't stick, and two, the metal doesn't rust because the naked metal, if you just let it sit and exposed to the air, it will eventually rust and food will stick, and you don't want to eat rust in your food. Now, there are a lot of videos that show you how to season a wok, and many of them may seem scary because, as one of my Twitter followers put it, they all have a lot of fire and smoke. And that might set off your alarm. So while I can't show you how I initially seasoned my wok because I already did it, I will share with you a link to a video that shows you exactly how I did it. And there is no a lot of smoke and fire. It's not scary at all. Um, it's actually a video made by the manufacturer of this wok, so you can trust that it's legit, and I can attest that it works. So I'll put that link in the description box below. One thing I want to point out in that seasoning video, it talks about soaking and scrubbing off a coating on the wok. That doesn't apply to all woks. Okay, woks all have to be coated with something when they're on the shelf, otherwise they'll rust. And a lot of them have that clear waxy coating, in which case you do have to scrub. But some of them just have like an oily coat on it, especially the ones that I've seen in like restaurant supply store. And so if your wok feels oily, you just have to wash it with detergent to get rid of that coating. So this is where many people drop the ball. They do a perfect job with their initial seasoning; it's beautiful and shiny and nonstick. But then that's all they do, and then they don't maintain the seasoning after every use. Yes. After every use, you have to maintain the wok; otherwise, it loses the seasoning and becomes sticky again. Sounds like a lot of work, but it really isn't. So let me show you. Adam and I do this every time we film. So pretend this is a dirty wok. I mean, it's kind of a dirty wok because it is nonstick. There should be nothing really sticking to it. So all I use is just a brush with hot water, and I just give it a scrub. All around. Now, if something does stick to it, you can use like a steel wool or like you know one of these to scrub it. It's really durable, so it's not gonna scratch it. But do not use detergent. Don't use detergent because one, it will wash off the seasoning and also all that wok char flavor that you've got built into the wok will also be. Stripped off if you use soap. Now, if you use soap by accident once or twice, it's not a big deal as long as you keep maintaining it. Uh, another tip that I will give you is, you know, a lot of people they're here, they're like, oh yeah, I'm done. It's really hot. I need to wash this wok. I'm gonna drop it in the sink and then turn on the cold water to cool it down. And it goes. Phew. Don't do that. Because the temperature change, hot, cold, hot, cold. When you do that over and over again, that's how you get warped pans. You know those pans that don't sit straight on the table. That's why. Okay, so make sure you let your wok cool before you wash it. Now, say you're done with that. Now we need to maintain the seasoning. Okay, so now I want to make sure this is really dry. So I turn the heat on super high. And I want to make sure there's no water left on it because water will rust carbon steel. Okay, like cast iron, um, this will rust. Okay, the wok's actually starting to smoke. I'm gonna turn it off. Ooh, and then this is the important part. I want to put in just a little bit of oil, and this is just canola oil. You can do vegetable oil. Apparently, flaxseed oil is really good for this. And then I'm just gonna use paper towel. Be really careful. Make sure this is thick enough. And I'm just gonna wipe it all over the inside of the wok. And you just want a thin layer of oil. You don't want this to be soaking, dripping in oil because that is just gonna kind of pull around in your wok and then become rancid. And then if you cook with it, it'll go into your food, or then you'll have to wash it again. And it's just a pain, right? And so make sure it's just a thin coating. You just want a shield between the pan and oxygen. 
that's it. And that is it. It's really not that much work. Like me and Adam do this after every time after we film and if you get into a habit of it it'll just feel like second nature and your walk will be non-stick forever so i hope this has been helpful to you if you've got further walk questions you can get in touch with me on facebook twitter or instagram and if you missed the other video where i talked about what kind of walk you should get i'll put the link right up here and also in the description below and subscribe to the show if you haven't done so so you never missed an episode and i will see you next time for your next delicious thai meal <laughs>